Mm -hmm. So it's nothing that you just do once. It's something that you need to repeat. Mm -hmm. Not rinse and repeat, <laughs> but repeat and do, um, do differently. Hello and welcome to Tap in Mind. Today we are in the LinkedIn headquarters. We are here with Monique Nelson, who is the chair and CEO mm -hmm. of Uniworld Group. Mm -hmm. So Monique, hi and welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate you. Tell me, what three things or four things or 10 things, we probably don't have time for 10, but what three things what at three least things are you amazing. working on? <laughs> that are making me super excited. So right now, um, our 50th, right? We're oh. celebrating our 50th anniversary. We were founded in 1969. So to be 50 years in this game, doing multicultural marketing and advertising is just really special. The second is my team. Mm -hmm. I'm just so excited about their uh, evolution of what we're doing here. Uh, Uniculture is kind of our new strategy and moniker that really does mm -hmm. preach a total inclusive um, strategy mm -hmm. that we think a lot of people are excited to hear about and it's easy for people to grasp. So mm -hmm. we're excited about that. And then lastly is we have launched probably two years ago our DNI practice, which we call Global Reflections, mm -hmm. which really does give a sense of we just want to make sure that we are looking at the world the way it really is and wow. being thoughtful about proximity and fluidity and where people are and how exciting it is to look at difference in a common goal. You have all these wonderful initiatives that you're working on. When it comes to your world, explain us a little bit about what Uniworld does and then the innovation that you are most excited about that will impact your business? Sure. I mean, our sole job is to make sure that we are represented as we are in the world. So brands have to do that, right? Mm -hmm. If you are going to engage these communities, we want to make sure that these communities know that you care. Mm -hmm. And how does that work? What does that look like? How does that work through the entire funnel, right? Mm -hmm. And we now know that the funnel is cyclical. Right, mm -hmm. so it's nothing that you just do once, it's something that you need to repeat. Mm -hmm. Not rinse and repeat, <laughs> but repeat and do, um, do differently. And now the things that I'm super excited about now in technology is AI. Mm. Uh, I'm so concerned about making sure that we have a true representation of stories and that the stories are being told in as broad a way as, as humanly possible, right? I, mm -hmm. I still get very concerned when I go on Google and I can put in professional women and unprofessional women and my picture shows up in the unprofessional section, right? Oh, that means me. that the, the wrong information is still being fed, right? Mm. So we have to work really, really hard to make sure that the Google <laughs> is right, right? Mm -hmm. because people go there and it's a trusted source. So if that's what they believe and that's what's out there and that's what's being given back, we have to work very, very hard on making sure that people of color, women, differently abled, LGBTQ, are represented in a way that allows them to be the complete selves in everywhere that they are and everything that they do and not to be judged based on just the outside. That then presents a challenge in and of itself because there's a lot to overcome, but what do you think is the biggest boundary or challenge that we need to overcome to get to where we wanna go? It's inclusion, right? Mm -hmm. we, I know it's it's really like, it's, it's that inclusion. It is adding more voices to the table. How do mm -hmm. we bring more perspectives and allow people to tell those stories? And with technology, we're allowed to do that. Yeah. You can do that any time of day, you can record, any type of engagement, and we want that. We want more and more people to show how a brand can be used in a way that they didn't even know. If you could give anybody a piece of advice now that you are chair, you're a chair in your seat, chair. and a CEO, yeah. that's very impressive, and how you got there, something either you heard along the way or a piece of advice you you enjoy giving, what would it be? One is do something, even if it's wrong, because you'll learn something. Mm -hmm. The second is Learn what you don't like. Mm -hmm. Very easy to go for what you do, mm -hmm. but really and truly, I'm always really thoughtful around, you know what, I don't enjoy that. Doesn't mm -hmm. make me happy, doesn't make me my best self. I'm gonna do the best job, but I don't wanna stay in that. So you wanna stay in a place that makes you happy, feels fulfilled, may not be easy, but enjoy it every day. You spend more time at work than you do anywhere else. Wow. Really good advice. I'm going to think about that later tonight. So thank you so much for joining thank us today. You. I appreciate it, Nadine. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you so much for joining us on Top of Mind.